In this learning kit, you'll be learning what loops are through creating your own instrument and song. Now today's big question will be, what is a loop? Loops are exactly what they sound like. They tell the computer to repeat an action or a certain process. Think about it this way. What's your morning routine? Maybe it looks something like this. Waking up, then brushing your teeth, and then eating breakfast. And then you repeat this every day. So in one week, you're repeating this seven times. So that's what a loop looks like. We can even see loops in songs. Think of the song Baby Shark. As you can hear, the words Baby Shark do 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 repeat three times. Basically, the words will repeat three times, or as many times as you set it to be. So let's say we want to repeat the loop five times now. So let's hear what the song sounds like now. Now, my question to you is, can you think of a song with loops? Alright, now that we better understand what loops are, let's make our instrument to make our own song with loops. Inside your kit, you're going to find three paper plates. So what you're going to do is place them on top of each other, and then place the rubber bands over the paper plates as shown in the picture on your guide. This is what your finished instrument should look like now. Make sure to test each string to make sure that each work. Now that you're all done making your instrument, it's time to make the loops. So in your guide, you should find a section where you name your own song and list the strings that you're going to play. And you're also going to list how many times you repeat this. And then on the very back of the guide, you should be able to turn this into code. In the kit, you should also be able to find code block stickers. Using these stickers, you're going to write your loop. Following the order of the strings that you're going to play that you wrote in your guide, stick the blocks onto the code. Then, in the blank circle, write the number of times you're going to repeat this. If you're ever confused, feel free to look at the example in your guide. Now that you're all done writing the loop, you can try it out on the instrument you made. Basically, all you have to do is follow the loop and play the strings as you wrote them. So if I wrote that I was going to play the strings A, C, B three times, then I would play the strings A, C, B three times with my instrument. Once you're all done playing the loop, try to think of other ways you can improve the loop or make it even more fancy. Now that you're all done with the activity, let's test your knowledge with the concept checked. In this concept check, you'll be acting as a songwriter. Instead of using code blocks, let's use a language called Python, which is a popular coding language. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to add words to the song that you had made with your instrument using the loops. Make sure to follow the example on the page to write out your loop. If you run out of space, you can always use the back. After you're all done practicing how to write loops with Python, now it's time to answer the big question. What is a loop? If you're stuck, think about what we did with the learning kit in the instruments and the songs. Please try to phrase this in your own words. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're an organization interested in receiving these free hands-on learning kits, please contact us through email. If you're a parent or a child interested in learning more or getting more resources, please visit our website. Make sure to follow all of our social media accounts, give us a like, and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much and we hope you learned something new.